Well, people loved it the first time around, so of course there's got to be a sequel. Venom, let there be carnage. Well, <laughs> let there be reaction. Welcome back to the Best Damn Nerd Show. James Kincaid alongside John Craig. And uh, we got another another trailer reaction to get to here. Venom, Let There Be Carnage, the sequel to the much maligned Tom Hardy effort uh, as <laughs> as Venom. And, and at this point, sort of just a uh, like a vestigial leftover of the Sony Spider-Verse, uh, as, as it were, as... You know, everything's moving forward with Tom Holland, unfortunately. No no besmirchment, Tom Holland. We'll talk about him another time. But a a Venom sequel, I have not seen the trailer, have not seen one second of it. I've seen some of the reactions online to it, so I'm I'm interested to check it out. So let's uh let's get let's it going. Give it a look. Give it a gander. Yeah. <laughs> Again, important to note neither, that it takes place in the Bay Area. Excuse me. Mm. This is just like day in the life of Venom. He, he like has a job. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Venom. Mrs. Chen. This is high. Oh man, this looks terrible. Yep. <laughs> looks looks worse than the first one. Thinking about you. Hey. I think Carnage is such a fan favorite, especially uh, when, when we were coming up, John. Every Did you get Woody Harrelson to play him? We ever make. Who do we leave behind, and how do we leave them waiting in the darkness for the rescuer who never comes? Welcome back, Eddie Brock. It's been a long time. I miss you so much. <laughs> he looks good. Yeah. I mean, we haven't gotten the symbiote on him yet, but I mean, in terms of free symbiote oh, carnage. Chaos. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Chaos soon come. Chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen! No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. Uh. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, initial thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's not much to say. Like the trailer didn't really show us anything super interesting per se. Uh, Correct. I mean, I, I struggle to see Venom carrying his own film anyway. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I you know this is gonna sound super like trivial, and you know, feel free to judge me in the comments or whatever you got to do. But Anytime the the villain is just like a CGI like monster of some kind, like someone transformed into a monster. Um, I felt this way in like what was it, Iron Man two? No, 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 Hulk. Was it Hulk? The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, when Hulk. it just yeah. yes, 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 exactly. Uh, it just, I just, it just loses me. I'm like, I, I'm not as interested in those kinds of villains as a villain that is like you know, a sentient, like intelligent alien or just a human with super intelligence or superpowers that, that can cause damage. Yeah, I mean, you said something interesting there in terms of Venom carrying his own movie and v Venom is definitely a character that, I mean, my God, when, when we were growing up, just skyrocketing, skyrocketing popularity Yeah, to, to, to the point where, yeah, he was, the, he was, you know, one of the big bads that Spider-Man had ever faced, you know, the, the, 
the reprise of you know what what happened to the symbiote costume of Spider-Man's becoming Venom and, and mm-hmm. everything like that it was just was awesome growing up. But he became so popular that I think the writers felt like, well, we got to this is kind of a, another golden goose here. We have to turn him uh, to use a wrestling term. We got to turn him babyface, you know, make him a little bit of a stone cold Steve Austin anti-hero type, mm-hmm. you know, that uh, the people will love. And then, you know, out of that comes Carnage. Uh, and out of that came like a, a few other symbiote characters, but all you know more derivative of the next. But I, I just feel like this is sort of the cart before the horse in in terms of, and I know everything that's going on with Sony, but like it just doesn't have the weight to it because Venom should come up as this in, insane threat to Spider Man. You know why can't we get a movie where we deal with that and don't talk, not I'm not talking about Spider Man three I'm talking about an actual movie where we get like a good portrayal yeah we already of got it the symbiote costume and you know we can we can launch into Venom you know in the sequel of that movie or what or what have you and then it actually just has some equity built into the character and to what right. it means for when he finally eventually sort of gets a measure of control over it and becomes this anti hero. Uh, mm-hmm. type venom but starting on that note is just a just a big miss for me it's like i'm not invested in him and so how can i be that invested in carnage right uh in general and yeah this trailer showed practically nothing the best part of the trailer was woody harrelson's voiceover like that mm-hmm. that's the one part that was sort of remotely feels like okay like that's that's carnage yeah. to me I'm, I'm always down to give woody harrelson a chance and i like tom hardy like i like the cast and and you know can give it a chance but uh i don't know Generally, it, it's not super interesting, and and I agree. Like, it needs you need to have that fork. You need to have the moment where you get the buy in for Venom initially, and then get that you know get the evolution of it. But you know, I, I don't know. I also think it's it's a little too maybe it's a little too complicated for film, and I don't know if CGI is like is really like there yet. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean, like. Or, or maybe it is there, but maybe they just haven't like fully imagined it. Cause like the, you know, sh- when they showed the, the like little, like the limb coming out of his back or whatever, when he's in the liquor store, yeah. it looks terrible. It looks, it, it doesn't look like it's a part of him at all. It doesn't look like it's an, attached to his body. Like, may, may, you know, this might be an early render or something. Like maybe it does look better when it's, when it's released, but uh, it's just like little things like that. It makes it extremely hard to buy in to a character when you're distracted by how bad some of those things look. Well, I, I think the incredible Hulk comparison is an apt one because I was thinking mm-hmm. about that during this movie too, because eventually the climactic fight will just be two CGI monsters duking right. it out. Right. And you know, there, there's, there is a market for that. I mean, people, there is, People like in in relatively large numbers watched Godzilla versus King Kong, and that's that was the entire movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know, well, yeah. It wasn't no, great, you're right there. You're right. But, you're right. You know, there but is a market, like- but I thought about it too with the Incredible Hulk. Like th- that was, you know, eventually it's just kind. Of, I get kind of bored. Yeah it it's just wanton violence and destruction. You know what I mean? Like there's no yeah. emotion built into it, uh, and you know. I think aesthetically it, it would have been more interesting if they took a chance and, and made this whole franchise have like a distinct look and feel like mm. the, like Sin like City the, did Sin City or even like, like beyond the spider verse or whatever, like, like Into the yeah, yeah. come up with something, some like an interesting look and feel that makes these stand out because Venom is a cool looking character. Like, Venom is a great character. Cool. And, I, and I think, yeah. honestly, one of the reasons people were so attracted to Venom in the comics is because he's so interesting looking and the illustrations were so cool, especially in contrast to Spider Man, who was also cool looking. Uh, that y- y- it's like, oh, this is like, I get it, you know? But but then yeah. when you, when you like bring it off the page and make it like real life person with these weird CGI limbs coming out of them and then, and faces coming out of them and stuff like that, it's like, ah. I don't know. Like it, it feels like a missed opportunity to do something original and cool with it, as opposed to like, all right, let's figure out how to make this look good in real life. Like it's not supposed to be real life. You know, it's, it's a comic. It's supposed to be a drawing. Yeah. That's what it's yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. And you're, you're right. in just terms of visuals, I mean, God, you know, venom, just like, everything about the, on the Mount Rushmore of tongues alongside totally. me and Gene Simmons. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, honestly, when, when people were reading, when, when you were reading those comics as a kid, you weren't 
reading those and imagining what Venom might look like if he was walking around on the streets. You were reading no, them like, like that. <laughs> you're reading them like, dude, he looks awesome. Like this drawing yeah. looks awesome. Right. Yeah. So let's let's we don't everything doesn't need to be real life. Like I know the MCU has been very successful in doing that. And, you know, I think to some extent the DCEU has as well. And I think they pulled off some very hashtag challenging. Restore the Snyderverse. <laughs> hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Hashtag fire and start off. But I, and I, think, I, I think that they did some respectable things with like Justice League and some of the CG in that. But uh, I don't know, dude, not everything needs this like IRL pass, you know? Yeah, I just we just didn't really see much here too. This is the best yeah. that they had to offer up. It was a stupid spraying ketchup <laughs> on his yeah. shirt joke. And it's like, hey, you but, know you're in San Francisco because he's wearing a the city warriors t shirt. Okay. But isn't that what this bridge. is gonna be? Like what else could hope, this movie be? It, like that better? and that that's the problem. That's the problem with it though. Like what what is there about this movie that's interesting? <laughs> it's just gonna be this guy who is like living this adjusted life to being venom and and then this big bad comes out and they fight <laughs> like that's what the movie's gonna be there's nothing else to it at least at least this trailer hasn't shown us that it's gonna be anything else so hopefully that's interesting to you because i'm gonna end the video with this and if you've watched this far you deserve to know i haven't watched the first one uh <laughs> <laughs> And hey, won't. And will not. Hey, thanks so much for watching this far, Nerdosphere. Really appreciate it. Like and subscribe. And uh, check us out on Discord, bestdamnerdshow.com slash Discord. And if you're going to save your money and not go see Venom, let there be carnage. Well, let there be Patreon, bestdamnerdshow.com slash Patreon. <laughs> if we can part you with some dollars, you know, fooling their money or soon parted. We really do appreciate all the support.